Hello everyone, I'm Anime Freak and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Animation I'm sorry again, Animation Rewinds Goku, no, Keep Goku versus Ryu. So if you guys haven't seen this video, make sure you go in the description box below, there's a link to that video, and as soon as you watch that, come back and watch me watch this. So that said, let's let me continue. Um I'm a fan of both series. I like I like uh, uh, Street Fighter and I, and I like Go uh, Dragon Ball Z. But I'm more of a Dragon Ball Z fan than I am a Street Fighter uh, fan. I mean, I watched like you know the three three of the movies of Street Fighter. I haven't ex I haven't seen like the other you know, series. I used to play the games, but and uh, yeah yeah Street Street Fighter um, two the the f the film is is my favorite of the uh, of, of the Street Fighter films. But if I'm if I'm if I'm if I'm a betting man, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Kid Goku because he's got like that. Uh, the uh, the Ozaru the the Ozaru is very very powerful and Goku's fast and I'm not saying that I'm not saying this because oh because all Dragon Ball Z all Dragon Ball Z characters are better than anything else no no I'm not, guys I'm not that arrogant okay uh, I'm 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 saying this because I know my Dragon Ball Z uh, keep Go keep Goku unless if he if he's using his uh, Ozaru form then Goku will definitely win. However, if he's not using his um, Ozoro form, then Ryu stands a pretty good chance against Goku. Actually, actually, it, it depends on which Goku it is. I mean, if it's the like the the end of uh, Demon King Piccolo arc, uh, Goku, then you know it, it could be it could be an even fight. But yeah, if if it's not Ozoro Goku, then Ryu. And if it is Ozoro Goku, then Goku. So um, yeah, with that said, let's get let's get to watching. <laughs> Okay, just gotta get this. Let's go get it up. Just give me a sec. Okay, so this is um, animation rewinds. Keep Goku versus Ryu. Three, two, one, and go. This episode of Cartoon Fight Club is sponsored by Jack. Jack is a free membership rewards program. That's right. You can earn awesome rewards simply by doing the things you already love doing. After you download the free application, you can earn points by downloading and playing any of the 400 plus supported games or watch videos and complete activities in the earn section of the Jack website or mobile app. Games like Minecraft, Roblox, Overwatch, Battlefield and much more. Games that you probably already play right now without getting rewarded for it. So why not start earning some cool and awesome things for the games you love playing? Head on over to jack.com by clicking the link below and let them know that Animation Rewind sent you. That's jack.com. Hey, so hey Animation Rewind for, sent me. Click that link now. This whole thing's really, really cool. But I, I, like, I like the old one. I like the old one. Um, you're just fine. Bugs Bunny versus um, Mickey Mouse. That was good. That was. What's up, guys? Welcome to the 104th episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, Animation Rewind. And Hello. If you're new to this series, then be sure to check out the older content. But if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. Tonight's battle was animated by Omega Animation. So if you Omega. Know what you see, head on over to his channel and subscribe. Speaking of tonight's battle, we have a fight between Ryu and Kid Goku. Yay. With all this being said, let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club's 104th round of fighters. What the fuck's that thing? What's up, guys? This is um, Crazy Hatch of Life. Um. It's been a long time since I've done a video. I've had a lot of many things going on in my life, but that's not what you're doing over there. Um, I'm really doing this Team Gohan Fighter, otherwise known as Gohan Fo Gohan 6425. I am subscribed to Kakarot is a Saiyan sent from planet Vegeta to Earth. 
after crash landing on yeah, we know we know the backstory for God's sake by an old man soon to be known as Grandpa Gohan. Kakarot was then given his earthling name, Son Goku. At huh. first, Goku was extremely violent and ill-tempered, not obeying Gohan at all. But one day, he fell down a deep ravine and hit his head, suffering severe head trauma that caused him to lose all of his sane aggression due to him not remembering his mission, becoming a kind and mild-mannered young boy. Now, let's not waste any time and go straight into the beef. In the manga, it states that Goku's body is tougher than stainless steel. Almost all metallic weapons cannot pierce him because of this. Goku easily took on General Blue, the same General Blue that could survive a hit that sent him across the other side of the planet, seen in the episode where Ariel makes a cameo in Dragon Ball. Through enough practice, Kid Goku's Kamehameha surpassed Master Roshi's, and Roshi's could disintegrate an entire moon. And um, I was taking notes, and my God, they just kept on adding up and adding up and adding them up. I was going, where do I start? It's just so much happening nowadays. He's also equipped with the Flying Nimbus and the Power Pole. The Flying Nimbus helps him get around easier, and the Power Pole is a magic tool that can deal some great melee damage. Goku has taken on and defeated an entire army by himself and at age 15 was considered the strongest fighter on the planet after drinking the miracle water and defeating King Piccolo. At that time, he didn't understand that of course, which drove him to push his limits even further and challenge himself every single day. Now let's discuss Kid Goku's most powerful form, known as the Great Ape. When Goku looks Bizarro. at the full moon, his Saiyan instincts kick in as Blot's waves reflected off the moon filled Goku's body, and he undergoes a transformation into the legendary Uzaru. His personality is overcome by his instincts, and as an Uzaru, he only has two things on his mind, kill and destroy. With his tremendous power, okay. he can destroy an entire planet over time, usually within the hour. Overall, Kid Goku is a young and inexperienced version of Goku, but he has plenty of raw power and energy, and is always ready to fight. Can you guys imagine what some a, su a Super Saiyan, a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan uh, Golden Zara would be? be safe? Ryu is an orphan who was adopted and began learning the mysterious and dangerous martial art known as Ansatsuken. When Ryu was young, Ken challenged him to see who would become a world-famous fighter first. Yeah, that's From the one I was telling you about. Ryu and Ken worked and competed to become world warriors. Ryu is considered a master of key manipulation and has been shown to cast spheres of energy from his hands at varying degrees of speed and power. Ryu's signature move requires key manipulation known as the Hadoken. Surprisingly, Hadoken. the Hadoken is said to be warm as normal body temperature. Contrary to popular belief, it's like Ryu's 52. Be Seriously, he's 52! Depending on the user, oh, he's younger than that. Its force of impact varies. 52. Ryu's Hadoken is said to feel like a hard kick and its pain lingers. Well, I would have thought he was like, you know, in his 30s like or something. Punch, but the pain is brief. Ryu's physical condition is far greater than any normal human. He is fast enough to dodge gunfire, strong enough to lift a boulder three times his size, and durable enough to survive Balrog, who has leveled cars with one punch. And he beat okay. Ryu down mercilessly, yet Ryu still got back up and won the fight. Ryu has also shown that he can sense the presence of others through their fighting spirits or key. Ryu has a set of morals that he fights and lives by, and this will limit Ryu from not fighting dirty. And okay. he will only fight a fair and just battle. Ryu also has his own physical limits. If damaged enough, he can be taken down and defeated. Overall, you know, they just like to sit there and complain about everything, the bad that's happening, all that. But over here, we want to give you solutions to help keep you and your family safe. And now, what let's get ready what, for what the What the hell's fight. going on? This battle's going to take place on Earth with no prep. Let the battle begin. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Welcome to my room. First off, what do you want me to do for fun? Well, pray to God, pray to everybody, and pray to send my mom. I smoke cigarettes without just. I do it every single day. Bring around the rosy, ashes part the fuzzy. What the hell's that guy? 
ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Is it, isn't it a tissue? A tissue, we all, sold, we all fall down. Yeah, that, I'm guessing they're not going to, um, not, not going to use, uh, use those Orgo. You pretty strong. You've got to take me on. Talk is cheap. Disgrace to your heart. <laughs> if you're going to let your guard down because I'm small, you're going to get hurt. Come on. This is exciting. Fight. Fight. <laughs> I still don't have what it takes. <laughs> Looks like I got strong, huh? Oh, you. Oh, uh oh, scary. I think we need to train more. See you later. Uh, that's, that's scared me that did. Now, before we discuss why he wins, I want to give a super huge shout out to the battle animator, Omega that was Animation. Awesome. Please support the animator by subscribing to his channel if you enjoyed what you saw. Now, Hawkeye. let's discuss Kid Goku versus Ryu. And poor Ryu, this guy is becoming more of a punching bag than a warrior on this series. But come on now, Kid Goku is not someone you want to judge based on looks. Yes, a two foot tall 15 year old sounds like the least intimidating thing to go up against, but do not judge a book by its cover. True, Kid true, Goku true, true. Is an overpowered monster compared to Ryu. He's strong enough to casually lift cars, fast enough to react, travel, and fight at supersonic speeds, durable enough to survive Yamcha's Wolf Fang Fist, and an extra 50 stone pillars <laughs> right after the punch. Kid Goku also has a wider arsenal with his Sensu Beam, Power Pole, and Flying Nimbus. And don't forget that Kid Goku's Kamehameha is stronger than Master Roshi's, and Roshi's is powerful enough to destroy the moon. If Ryu true, was true, with true. that level of force, he wouldn't be Ryu anymore, he'd be this. Well, maybe not that, but he'd definitely be dead. Now, there are stronger versions of Ryu that aren't canon, so if you want to see Kid Ooh. Goku face the non-canon Ryu from Azura's Wrath, all you gotta do is like this video, and if this video gets 5,000 likes, 
there will be a rematch. Also, please comment down your own ideas for Cartoon Fight Club and stay mm. tuned because the next fighters are going to be revealed on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. Cartoon Fight Club. Danny Phantom vs. Uh, Pac-Man <laughs> That's a good guys. Uh, Danny's a ghost and um, Pac-Man's a ghost eater That is so cool Well done team Golf Fighter, well done That was good. That that was really good. I, I've been with there for a sec. I, I, I forgot how powerful Goku was when he was a kid. It's been a long since time since I watched Dragon Ball. I'm gonna have to rewatch the, the old series again. So, <clears throat> yeah, that was that was pretty. That was pretty good. That was that was a good. That was a good uh, fight. <laughs> oh, awesome! Round of applause. Oh, that, that's 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 my Goku. So, um, for ideas, um. I, I still I still think that we sh uh, animation rewind should do uh, the genie from Aladdin versus Discord from My Little Pony. That, that, that's that's the one fight I would love to see um, him do. That'll be that'll be awesome. That'll be awesome. That would because you know they, they can like break the fourth wall. They can do absolutely anything. That would be awesome to to, uh, to do. Uh, that's all I've got for, at, at at the moment. So um, yeah, if there's any like any an animation animated uh, animate. Uh, related stuff that you guys want me to react to it can be anything and any, anything anime related just um li leave a link in the comment section below to that video and i'll uh, we'll get to it as soon as i can and uh, if you guys want to follow me on my social medias they're down there in the description box below and uh, don't forget to subscribe like and comment and i'll see you guys next time cheerio